To some people, it seems unlikely that something as complex as the human eye could have emerged from the process of evolution. They say that just as a watch implies the existence of a watchmaker, the eye implies the existence of a designer. The thrust of their argument is that removing any of the different components that make the eye work would leave the whole system useless. This criticism is called irreducible complexity. Charles Darwin himself addressed this, saying that a perfect and complex eye could be formed by natural selection, though insuperable by our imagination, should not be considered as subversive of the theory. In other words, just because we can't imagine something doesn't mean it's not possible. Throughout the natural world, there are examples of creatures that show just how the human eye could have developed incrementally rather than all at once. Single-celled organisms have light-sensitive patches known as stigma, which differentiate between light and dark. If a pit developed in a patch of these cells, it would cast a shadow, revealing the direction of the light. As this pit deepens and closes to form a pinhole, it increases directional awareness and allows the creature to see blurry shapes. Mucus secreted from the light-sensitive cells focuses the light, reducing the blurriness, and as the mucus hardens, it forms a proper lens. This lens provides a clear, sharp and detailed image. Organisms like green algae have a patch of light-sensitive cells and use them to find light for photosynthesis. Flatworms have a pit containing these cells, allowing them to detect the shadow of potential predators. Snails have blurry vision that is good enough for them to move around and find food. And all sorts of animals, including sea creatures, birds and human beings, have eyes with clear vision that can see over a long distance. There is evidence of each incremental step in the eye's evolution, and we can see how each provides a useful function in its own right, meaning it is indeed possible to reduce the complexity. The development of protection mechanisms like tear film, eyelids and sensitivity levels were crucial steps in the evolution of the human eye. Technological advances have brought about risks that our eyes are not adapted to provide adequate protection against. Overexposure to ultraviolet light already affects the sight of millions of people worldwide, and the combination of blue-violet light from the sun and from computer screens and from low-energy light bulbs could increasingly lead to the premature ageing of our eyes. These dangers mean we need protection provided by things that are designed, like UV filters, glasses with anti-reflective lenses, and blue-violet light filters, all examples of technology that helps to protect our eyes and enhance the amazing tool evolution has naturally produced.